Um, you you spoke a bit about the HTLC uh, part, um, but maybe let's let's define that first and and look into it a bit more closely. So, what how does it actually work when you make a Lightning Network channel update uh, to route payment? Yeah, so um, I, I guess that's kind of two separate things. So we have a mechanism for updating Lightning channels in general, and then we have uh, these HTLCs, which can be used for uh, kind of coordinating multiple channel updates in different places on the Lightning Network. So to answer the first question, if I was just going to say pay Chris over a Lightning channel, and we have a channel open, and it's just a direct payment, no routing is happening, in theory, we wouldn't need to use an HTLC at all. We could just uh, update, right? say like I have uh, two-thirds of a Bitcoin, and he has one-third of a Bitcoin in this Lightning channel. Uh, we could just, and I want to pay him a third of a Bitcoin. We could just update to have a new state where I have one third and he has two thirds, and we can revoke the old state. So we have kind of this uh, more general update mechanism for Lightning channels. Uh, and then on top of that, we have uh, a way to coordinate uh, these updates. So how HTLCs come into this is say, Max, I want to pay you through Chris because I don't have a channel directly to you. And so what I do is I set up a contingent payment to Chris, where I tell him that he needs to reveal to me a secret that you know uh, in order to claim this payment. And he doesn't know this. And then I tell him, like, go go ask Max for that secret and pay him this much. So I'll pay him, say, uh, a bit more than a third of a Bitcoin for the secret. And then he will pay you a third of a Bitcoin for the same secret. And now what happens is, or so first of all, he waits for me to fully commit and revoke my old state. So now in our lightning channel state, I have one third of a Bitcoin, he has one third of a Bitcoin, and this HTLC kind of in the middle has a third of a Bitcoin, uh, which could go either way. It's a, it's a contingent payment, which either after a timeout goes back to me, or with the revealing of a secret goes to him. Um, and then he sets, once that's set up and fully committed to, only then does he go to you and set up that same contingent payment. And then uh, the reason that this is safe for him is because uh, his payment to you, the only way that he loses funds is if you tell him the secret. And if you tell him the secret, he's not going to lose funds because he can claim my payment. So essentially, HTLCs are this mechanism whereby routing nodes are sure that they are not going to be footed with the bill, so to speak. Right? They can always pass it on to someone else. So they make sure that someone is going to pay them for the secret before they commit to paying for the secret themselves. Um, and so that's what an HTLC is, is. It's a contingent payment. I mean, an, an HTLC is just a kind of Bitcoin contract, right? It's a contingent payment. Uh, and as I said, any, any kind of contingent payment that you can set up on-chain, you can do off-chain. And so essentially, we, we're setting up all of these off-chain contingent payments, and then... Uh, we all are essentially cooperatively not actually using those contracts on chain. We're just removing that and uh, transferring value. So then what happens here is Max will claim his payment from me, but actually it's from Chris. And um, by revealing the secret to Chris, and then Chris will claim his payment for me by revealing his secret, that secret to me as well. Um, and then when these secret reveals happen, Everyone updates their lightning channel to a new state where the value has transferred from one side to the other, and we just delete this HTLC. So we, it, this is a great example of like, it's a, an off-chain channel where we've introduced some contract on there, but then in, in the case that there's no dispute, we can just like throw that contract away and we don't need to use a blockchain to enforce it. Uh, but if there is a dispute, then uh, we can go on chain with this uh, channel. We can just put the channel, the current channel state on chain and then use the blockchain to enforce the contract. 